Holy. Oh, holy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Over the span of 20 months, America was shook to its core by three of the most deadly shootings in its modern history, and not only have they led to gun protests, but have also led to unique art that have given gun victims relief and hope for the future. With each shooting in Orlando, Las Vegas, and Parkland, there have been many artists who have paid tribute to the victims with many different artwork that have convinced them that there will be justice for those who were killed. On September 15, 2016, the Orlando Public Library hosted a public reception for Paint Strong Orlando. Organized by local art supply store Sam Flax, Paint Strong is a collection of more than 260 works of art. All of the pieces were created with art supplies donated by Sam Flax to anybody who wanted to make a work of art that reflected the strength of the community in response to the June 12th shooting at Pulse nightclub that killed 49 people. It's a sobering experience, hanging pieces on the wall um, with names that are written and faces that you recognize of people that are no longer here. Um, it's not an easy task. If there's anything to take away from that, I hope from tonight it is that these walls have never looked brighter since I've been here, and they radiate with the light of 49 lives that passed way too soon. With Orlando being such a tight-knit community, you would be hard-pressed to find someone that wasn't directly affected by the events of June 12th. But since that day, our city has come together in ways that I don't believe any of us could have predicted. My hope is that tonight will continue the sense of unity and healing that pulses through the heart of this city. To our artists, I say thank you for doing such an amazing job. You have helped people heal. You have spoken up for those who cannot speak. You are an example to us all. It is my hope that this collection will continue to shine a light on the spirit of Orlando. Months later, Sam Flax would proudly announce that the show would feature nearly 300 works of art that was given to venues across the nation, beginning with the Orlando Public Library. The art would eventually be auctioned off and all proceeds would be donated to help the Pulse nightclub victims and their families. Meet Angela Reichman, an artist who graduated from Brigham Young University in Provo, Utah in 2013. She was devastated by the Las Vegas shooting on October 1, 2017. And she believed that there were no words to best describe the event. So she chose a different way to express her feelings for the victims in Las Vegas. Through paint. Angela thought her painting was just going to be something her family and friends would enjoy. But after she posted it, it started to take off. Then she actually started to get calls from those directly affected by the shooting. It's called the homecoming. Coming home to the heavenly arms of family members, inspired by the tragedy of the Las Vegas shooting that left 58 people dead. When they left this world, I really believe that they had family and friends and people who loved them rushing in to, to greet them, to, to bring them to their eternal home. And I wanted to show something hopeful. And the inspiration came. It flowed very naturally. Without any sketches or drawings. It kind of just came out. It wasn't really planned like my other paintings are. In a matter of just five hours, the homecoming was complete. They are having a homecoming reception and it's their loved ones pulling them in. Yes, this, what happened was horrible. What happened was terrible, but I don't think this life is the end. After it was complete, Angela never imagined what would happen next. The painting went viral. The most tender moment when she started getting orders from those directly affected by the shooting. First time someone ordered for someone who was affected, I just cried and cried because I couldn't believe that it was reaching those people. A painting with a simple yet powerful message of hope. I, I feel like I can't even take credit for that. Like I was the, I was the instrument and like God was the inspiration. He was 
the artist. He would, just needed a tool to get the painting out there. In late 2017, Angela Reichman's painting was sold to many people who were deeply affected by the Vegas shooting. She charged only what it cost her to print and ship them with no profit at all. Copies were available on her website, which is currently unavailable. But nonetheless, her painting provided victims the strength they needed to overcome the grief and pain from Las Vegas. After the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School on February 14, 2018, basketball star Dwayne Wade organized an art exhibit at the Wynwood Art Walk Tours in Miami to honor the 17 lives who were killed. It's called Parkland 17, with its mural done by Manuel Oliver, whose son was one of the victims of the tragedy in Parkland, Florida. In honor of those lives lost at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, Dwayne Wade has dedicated a special exhibit called Parkland 17 during Art Walk off of 27th and 3rd Avenue in Wynwood. Students and parents from Parkland stopped by the exhibit. It was emotional as the father of 17-year-old Joaquin Oliver killed at Douglas High created artwork. The face of his son at the center, the message clear and his anger apparent. Parkland was the safest city in Florida. It shows that it truly can happen anywhere. No one expected it. And there are so many cities like Parkland all around the country. And we want to emphasize that this can happen anywhere and it could happen in your town. Statistics about gun violence. Creative director Caitlin Barnett says Wade wanted to make sure this exhibit wasn't just about remembering. Dwayne wanted to find a way to um, honor the victims and but he also wanted to make sure that there was something behind us. You know, you can honor, you can remember, but what's coming next? Like, what can we do to make sure this never happens again? I really like how they did commemorate the victims. First and foremost, it's the primary part. Like, the empty desks really demonstrate how many people really were lost. It Because all those desks are empty now. An inspiring painting is not enough to end the gun violence in America. It requires people to use their own voices to tell local politicians, U.S. Congress, and the President's administration their hopes for gun regulations. People continue to hold protests and rallies across the country demanding that the U.S. government put in gun laws to control the killings. Before the Parkland 17 exhibit, the students who survived the Stoneman Douglas High School shooting started March for Our Lives, a student-led demonstration that gained support of people who wanted a change in gun laws and showed that even the youngest can have the strongest voice against violence. The artists who paid tribute to the victims of each mass shooting showed how passionate they were with the subject of the matter and provided art that gave much needed relief and hope that the fight for gun control will take a turn for the best.